I'd like to welcome all our families back to Term 2 2020, albeit a very, very different term with our uh, Learning From Home platform and with a very small number of students attending the school. Can I start by thanking everyone uh, for the start of this term? In particular, I'd like to thank the boys. Our feedback uh, to this point is that the boys are very, very engaged with the online learning. There's always hiccups with that. There's always different circumstances at home. There's always different platforms that the boys are using. And indeed, there's different levels of organisation of some of our boys. So we know that that has been problematic for some. However, above all, it appears to be working very, very well. So can I thank the boys? I also need to thank our parents and caregivers. I know many of you are tracking that learning at home, making sure the boys are fulfilling all tasks as required. So I thank the parents for that and for your understanding at this time. Also, I will make a comment about our staff. The staff have done a huge amount of work to make sure that this works. So I'd like to give some clarity around the model that's been adopted here. Certainly in secondary and in primary, it's slightly different. In secondary, the boys receive a week's worth of work at the start of the week. At three o'clock Friday, they'll get the work for week two of term. The idea there is if there are any issues with connectivity, etc., the boys are still able to continue with work. Teachers then tell the boys when they're required to be online to get some um, online support with their learning. And that's worked very well to this point. I will make a comment uh, that um, we felt this was the way to go because having all boys online at the one time, at the one lesson, has not worked in other jurisdictions. So by following this model, we've allowed the boys' learning to continue. There'll be some diagnostic testing happening next week and may have already happened this week to see where the boys' learning is and there'll be information going home if we have concerns. Can I thank our heads of house as well who are tracking boys who haven't signed in? So they're boys who uh, we note on our database haven't logged in for the day on, for more than two days in a row. And there's been a small number of those. Some of those boys have actually come into school because they've had difficulties accessing due to lack of internet connection at home. So um, I thank our heads of house for making sure that all boys' welfare is being maintained. Can I ask um, for the point of view of the students at home that they try and maintain being active and I know there's a lot of resources that have gone out around that. And also to remain connected as best you can with friends, in particular with parents, with uh, staff, and with those you'd normally connect with. Um, perhaps grandparents, etc., online, which is often a challenge, would be great. Can I also uh, send our special thoughts and uh, thank you to those parents who are essential workers, particularly those in the health sector. Our thoughts and prayers are with you and thank you for everything that you've done. At school, we've had approximately 100 to 115 boys here every day and they're boys that are working very well and I'd like to congratulate the parents of those boys on the work that your sons have been doing at the school. Can I just perhaps give a little bit of advice to parents? What our staff have done is sent home a, a, a large amount of work for the boys to be working on each week. We do not expect the boys be, to be doing huge numbers of hours of homework to stay on top of things. So for example, if uh, a boy is struggling with some of the work, it is okay that it's not all complete, but he needs to prioritise what's important. So for example, one of our students completes his school day and he does an hour's homework in year eight. That's reasonable. If he's doing three and four hours in year eight, it's too much. So we just ask that parents monitor that. The work has been sent home for all boys. Some boys are powering through the work, others are struggling. Please do not panic if you do not complete all the work. Now that's not a cop out. We want boys working hard and doing their best, but we understand boys learn at different rates. This Saturday is Anzac Day, which is an Anzac Day different to what we've experienced before. Um, at the time of this newsletter going out, we would have had our school Anzac Day ceremony, which will happen on Friday at 8.40. The boys at school will be involved in that and the boys will ask to be asked to tune in online to that 
particular ceremony. Can I thank Liam Herbert and Paul Caulfield and particularly Chris Crellin and John McGeckin for their work in getting that, um, that particular service online to everyone. I would ask if you haven't seen it to have a look at Mr Herbert's address. It is exceptional. So for me, I thank all those people for their involvement. I challenge the boys as well at six o'clock on Saturday morning to follow the Light Up the Dawn project, which asks people to remember either uh, on their deck, in the driveway, in the backyard, those diggers who have fought for our freedom over the years and those who have sacrificed a great deal, and indeed the current serving members of our Defence Forces. Uh, on the website they talk about some values, and I'll repeat the values which I think are very important indeed at this time. They are values of mateship, humour, integrity, courage and endurance. And we pray for those values in our community as we move through COVID-19. I would like to welcome some new teaching staff to our school in um, Term 2. Uh, Miss Donna Braithwaite and Sharon Harris both come to us into the English department and we welcome Donna and Sharon. Matthew Hannon returns to us from Brisbane State High School in the Humanities Department. We welcome Matthew. And Brent Malcolm moves into the Mathematics Department and we welcome Brent to our school. Mr Shane Lynch returns after uh, sorry paternity leave um, and he will move back into being in charge of Hogan House. Now J David Sheehan will be head of Callan House at least till the end of the year following the resignation of Mr Andy Pawley. Andy's gone to a position in New South Wales and we wish him well down there. And we thank Dave for taking up that role. And James Mendoza takes on the service learning role for Mr Twine Donovan, who gave birth to baby Owen just recently. So we uh, congratulate a Twine and Andrew on the birth of their second child, a boy, Owen. Look, with regard to the future, we know we're in this model until May 22. And as soon as I have additional information through health authorities and government, I'll let families know about arrangements following that. It is my hope that I can see every boy at the first day of week six. I think that's everyone's hope because we do miss the boys at the school and we do miss their energy and enthusiasm. I would like to add just a final note before I move to performing an interview, doing an interview with one of our students, is I'd like to remember the community of Iona College. Uh, over the holiday break, one of their past students, an old boy from the class of 2014, Zachary Robber, passed away working as a ranger up on the Barrier Reef, in, involved in a tragic accident uh, up on the Barrier Reef. Um, their funeral, the funeral for Zach, was held uh, this week with Father Michael Twigg, the rector of Iona, doing that particular funeral. It was difficult to involve people, but they did a tremendous job. So to the Robber family and to the Iona community, we offer our prayers and condolences. What I'd like to do now is speak to one of our students. Uh, Thomas Hurd is the vice captain of the college, one of the vice captains. And I'm going to talk to Thomas about his experience working online um, working at home currently in week one and also his experience of how he maintains connections, his fitness and his sense of purpose and self. So I'll be interviewing Tom just very shortly. Um, parents and students, I've got Tom Hurd with me at the moment. Now Tom's uh, obviously working from home. Uh, obviously I think John, his brother, is there as well. And I thought we'd take the opportunity to talk to Tom about his experience working from home. And he may even have a little bit of advice, particularly for some of our younger students. So um, good morning, Tom. Morning, sir. So, Tom, just to start with, how have you found the first week of working from home? I'd say the first week's been like a very big learning curve. It's been interesting, but like once you get over that learning curve, it's you got a plan out, set ready. You can just get over and do your work, know what you're doing. And so, so, sorry, Tom. Um, just uh, from, from your point of view, what is it that you've enjoyed about working and learning from home? I can just learn at my own pace. 
also learning the type of way that I study best. So I've learned that I've worked better in longer blocks. So two, three hours, or it could be which subjects you choose from the morning. But yeah, I've learned yeah. a lot of learning. Okay, and Tom, one of the things that uh, we're hearing back from younger boys and some parents yeah. as well is there's a lot of work and I'm saying to the boys and their parents, just do what is reasonable because we've often, except in year 12, we often give yeah. a little bit more work than is required. Are you coping with the amount of work at the moment? As of yet, yeah, so far. I've just set a plan and once I know what I'm doing, I'll, I'll do it. Okay. It and, and so... Tom, what is it that you've found most difficult about working? Uh, I'll say, I'd say missing the school environment. All the teachers, the boys, don't get to see them anymore. It's complete change. Like you're at school with 2,000 people and now you're just by yourself or with your brother. Okay. Big and change. how's it going with your brother? Is it going all right? Yeah. Yeah, it's been pretty good. We've been getting, eating lunch together, having little breaks together. It's pretty good. Right. Might be good for both of you. Um, yeah. Uh, Tom... And I was just wondering um, how you're staying connected with your friends and your mates. How are you doing that when you can't actually meet with yeah. people? Yeah, I'd say every second day I go out with um, John Bryant, do a bit of exercise, running, a bit of gym as well, and also just staying connected on the phone as well. Been doing right. that a bit. Okay. Um, and um, tell me about how you're staying active, Tom, because I'm a bit, bit worried about some of our boys Normally they'll be doing sports training or they'll be yeah. walking at the train station. And just their normal day, they do a lot of steps. What are you doing and how have you developed your own at home? Yeah, as I was saying, I was with John Bryant. We go for, I think, just over a 3K run through the bushes. Also, he's got a gym set at his house, so I quite often pop over to his house. do a bit of gym with him, which is really handy. And yeah, that's about it for me. And do you have a specific program you follow? Uh, yeah, the rugby squad that I'm in is they set out heaps of programs that we do day to day and we also have like a little competition in the in the squad right. for running. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I, I, sp I spoke to Mr. O'Connor and Mr. Leckie and they said that you were remaining engaged in that program. Yeah, so, um, it's been really good. I, I'm glad. Maybe some of our staff should do it too, Tom. Um, I won't, I won't point the finger at anyone just tonight. <laughs> um, and um, just... Um, um, look, if you were going to give a final message to the boys, because we've got at least probably another four weeks of this, so yeah. what 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 message would you give to the young boys, young men sitting at home? I would say with the work related, I would say on that Monday when we get all our work, set a plan so you know what you're doing for that week. And once you know what you're doing, you're more likely to do it. So I can just set that plan from day one and start on the Monday. And keeps doing work. That, well, that's 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 great, Tom. So you're sort of saying, be organised, plan the week, and yeah. stick to the plan. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, well, um, I'd like to thank you, Tom, because um, I think you've got to go back and do some English uh, assignment yeah, work. So. English, English and math. English and mathematics. Thank you for giving up some time this morning, and um, no hopefully, a lot of the people will be able to get some messages of, uh, yeah, of hope hopefully. from you. Uh, speak soon, sir. Thank you, Tom. Um, I'd like to thank Tom for his words of wisdom and for his insights into working from home. And I'd encourage all boys and families to maintain contact with staff as best as possible. Obviously, there are many channels you can do that. Should you be experiencing difficulty, please contact the class teacher, the head of house or the heads of college. Enjoy week two. Thank you.